the Ghana Registered Midwives Association is advocating increased funding for the health sector to meet its immunization targets. The association is worried the dwindling funding of immunization programs will plunge the country into a health crisis few years to come. Beatrice Spiogabra has more. The timely vaccination of children is a proving method for saving lives from vaccine preventable diseases. It can also help attain the Sustainable Development Goal 3 of ensuring healthy lives and promoting the well-being of all by 2030. According to the UNICEF, the Ghana Expanded Program for Immunization has helped to reduce infant mortality. There has also been a drop in the mobility rate of vaccine preventable diseases such as measles. However, the Ghana Registered Midwives Association fears Ghana is likely to suffer health challenges with measles, tuberculosis and polio if funding for immunization programs continue to drop. We are able to eradicate polio, but polio is back. These days we are having babies contracting tuberculosis. These are some of the challenges we face when we reduce domestic financing for immunization. A former district director of health, Beatrice Appa, believed local assemblies will prioritize health issues if chief executives are assessed based on gains in the health sector. The community assessed the district chief executive by fiscal structures. So they want to see a, a building, they want to see a market. With immunization, you can't see anything. People are protected. The impact will show, but not immediately. Hard to reach communities are the worst hit by the dwindling immunization funds. Asante Achim Central and South District in Ashanti region have not achieved the immunization targets. When you go to Asante Achim Central, it's very difficult to go there. And you know our people, most of them live in satellite communities. And you need funding to be able to reach these people. 